Hello, and welcome back to This Month in Copilot Studio. We're excited to have you here for episode two, where we dive deeper into the incredible advancements happening in the world of Copilot Studio. I'm here again with my fabulous co-host, Donna Sarkar. Hello. Hello. Um, hello, everyone. Thank you, Kendra. I'm so excited to dive into some great topics today. Okay, in our last episode, which you watch very carefully, I'm sure. Took notes. Yes, we covered a lot of exciting ground, okay? We recapped the announcements of agents from the Satya Jared thing, and we talked about the new embedded agent builder, which makes it easier than ever to extend and customize Copilot for your needs, okay? From within Microsoft 365, which we all love. By the way, there's gonna be homework, so pay attention. Um, we also emphasized your team, Kendra's commitment to quality, Absolutely. which I think is probably the most important feature that you all do, yeah. it's the heart of the product. And we announced three things that I thought just is a game changer for Copilot Studio. Yeah. First was in increasing the file size limits, please, so you can actually use larger knowledge files. Mm -hmm. um, second one is now these agents can reason over non-text elements within PDF files, expanding the reach of what you can understand so you get a more robust, more accurate, more complete answer. And of course, we talked about the Part Platform Community Conference, yes. which was the new hotness, okay, which was the new hotness. But um, what do you want to talk about today? So today, we definitely have a jam-packed show. We're going to start by diving deep into the distinct types of agents that you can build, mm -hmm. either to extend Microsoft Copilot or to serve as a standalone solution, and talk about some real-world scenarios mm -hmm. that show where each one can shine. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to recap some major announcements coming out of the Power Platform Community Conference and, and after, mm -hmm. uh, including new autonomous agent capabilities that Satya just announced during the AI mm -hmm. tour earlier this month. Right. And we are going to wrap things up with a deep dive into security and governance features, equipping you with everything you need to create the most secure solutions possible for your organization. I love it. Yeah, should we dive in? Absolutely. Okay. Okay, so with the announcement of agents last month, there seems to be a tiny bit of confusion. Teeny, no teeny, offense. A little bit. No offense. A yep. um, little bit of confusion over the kinds of solutions you can build, what is an agent versus a copilot, um, and when do you use what, right? Um, and honestly, Satya and Jared gave a great analogy that resonated mm. with me, and I've been using it since. So I am now saying, you can think about Copilot like your phone. It's a tool that partners with you as you go do stuff in life, right? You leverage various Microsoft apps, you drive efficiency into doing tasks, making decisions, workflows, blah, 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 blah. Yep. It's always with you, um, learns more about you over time, but it is a standalone thing that works out of the box. Yep. Now, agents are like apps that run on top of your phone. They're there to customize and extend the capabilities of your phone For sure. to do specific things. Yeah. Yeah. So now, now I kind of get it. Okay. Copilot is phone, agents are apps for your phone. Yep. Yep. Okay. Those apps personalize your mm -hmm. phone for you to right. fit your needs, your right. lifestyle, mm -hmm. et cetera, right? So yes. that's a perfect analogy, Donna. And agents not only customize Copilot by giving it access to your enterprise specific data and common mm -hmm. workflows, but they can also serve, like I said, as standalone solutions mm -hmm. that can be deployed or published outside of uh, mm -hmm. Microsoft Copilot channels. Yeah, that's right. Because not all of your things are gonna be on Microsoft assets, right? Some will be on your website, et cetera. Mm -hmm. Okay, so can we do some examples to help our audience understand how best to leverage the spectrum of agents? Because there's a lot of, lot of ways. Yes, mm -hmm. for sure. So let's take a step back. As we just said, Agents can both extend and customize Microsoft Copilots, like Copilot for Sales mm -hmm. or Copilot for M365, or they can serve as standalone solutions published externally to Microsoft Copilots on channels like a website, like mm -hmm. you mentioned, mm -hmm. or Facebook or Teams. Mm -hmm. And neither scenario negates the need or the value of the other, right? So, for example, you could create an agent that customizes Copilot, like mm -hmm. creating an onboarding Copilot. Mm -hmm. Uh, or an onboarding agent, I apologize. Mm -hmm. I need to put a dollar in the swear jar. <laughs> uh, but an onboarding agent that helps employees access benefit information mm -hmm. or training materials, yes, et cetera. Or IT help desk agent, like yeah. I needed the other day, by Heck the way. Yeah. Setting up my Copilot Plus PC 
does not have the enterprise queue on it, and I forgot how to do that because it's not <laughs> 1996 anymore. There's no Ethernet cord. So I was thinking, oh my gosh, and if we had an agent for this, it could have helped me reset my password, figure out how to reinstall the SKU, yep. create a support ticket, order new things, et cetera, et cetera. 100%. It was such a scenario that was so obvious. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. And the key thing here is that scenarios we're extending mm -hmm. co-pilots right. with an agent, it's useful when an employee is already mm -hmm. using a co-pilot solution, right? Right, a co-pilot within M365, right. mm -hmm. Power Platform, mm -hmm. sales, yeah. etc. Right. That's right. Yeah. So pretty much, you want to do a custom when it's for employees or customers, but solving like some sort of a standalone problem, and extending when it really is using some Microsoft product that already exists that has and a copilot that has a copilot on it, but you want to reach some external data source yeah. from some Microsoft customize it for you asset thing. Yeah, okay. I got for you. sure. And mm -hmm. so. You mentioned the standalone solutions, mm -hmm. right? So let's say you wanted to deploy a customer service agent uh, on a website, right? Mm -hmm. It could help um, answer questions, maybe complete a return, mm -hmm. um, maybe create a, a, a ticket mm -hmm. or, or whatnot, right? That's or right. you could deploy an agent that helps your customers um, compare and contrast different products mm -hmm. um, or services that you mm -hmm. offer, right? And truly the possibilities are endless. Mm -hmm. The key here with standalone solutions is to think about where your customers or employees are coming to organically mm -hmm find these answers right. to solve their problems, complete these tasks, mm -hmm. and deploy that standalone agent there. That's right. So it's if your customer is coming to your website, where on your website? Is it the support page? Is it the home page? And what questions are they asking? This is where I think it's so important to track. Here are the main questions, 50 questions people mm -hmm. ask, and make sure your agent can handle them. Absolutely. OK, PPCC, Power Platform Community Conference. Let's talk about some of the big announcements. Um, I thought a big announcement that was interesting during AI tour was from Satya um, talking about autonomous capabilities in mm -hmm. Copilot Studio. Yes. Can you share that? I a can. Bit? I would love mm -hmm. to. We are so excited both for this announcement mm -hmm. and for Ignite because you will be able to start adding agentic or autonomous capabilities to your agents, right? Okay. So now agents not only can work with users when they mm -hmm. ask it a question or ask it to complete a task, but they can work for users to complete long running workflows mm -hmm. when a particular event happens, like uh, when a new lead is added to a CRM system. Maybe it could kick off the workflow to triage that lead, analyze the opportunity, mm -hmm. schedule intro calls, et cetera, right? Yeah. So agent kind of does stuff for you even in the background. So instead of an if-then statement, it's like a while. It's like, it's running in the background. It's, this trigger happens, it takes some action. Yep, I love it's that. It's always waiting yeah. for you, mm -hmm. for this event or this right. trigger to happen. Right. And then it performs whatever action mm -hmm. you told it through natural language instructions. Right. Which I love. Right, mm -hmm. to complete, mm -hmm. and what processes to follow yes. after a particular event happens. But again, not scary, because you created the guardrails. You said, agent, only do these actions and only do them when I say so. Here. Yep. Right. 100%. Which I think that guardrails part so important. Yeah, so important. absolutely. And so. with these autonomous triggers, you not only can create them and provide those instructions, like I mentioned, but you can test these new mm -hmm. triggers so that you can ensure that they mm -hmm. function the way that, that you want them to. And you can also review uh, historical sessions or historical mm -hmm. runs when these events have happened in the new activity tab within Copilot Studio. I and see everything that. that's happened. It's like admin for makers. Yep. So good. Absolutely. Okay, so I feel that this is a game changer for agents. I can't wait to get my hands on it at Ignite. Yes. Um, so other things though, major ones were around security. Yeah, which we is a ton. on everyone's mind, top of mind for everyone. And I would love to hear more about what announcements you had about security. Yeah, absolutely. We announced a ton of new features for our admins and uh, makers in order to create the most secure agents for your organization. But I actually think the best person to share more about these announcements is Duganta Kumar, the principal product manager for Copilot Studio who leads this space. Mm -hmm. And I actually talked with them about it a couple of days ago. So we can go ahead and play that if that sounds good. Absolutely, we want to see that. Perfect. Mm -hmm.
All right, folks, I'm here with Duganta Kumar, a principal PM from my team that leads the uh, security and governance space for Copilot Studio. Thank you so much for joining me, Duganta. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Awesome. Thank you for having me. Yes, of course. Well, I had to have you on because we announced so many different new features for mm -hmm. admins, as well as the robust you know, data security features that we have for Copilot Studio that we've already shipped over the past year plus, and I wanted to learn more from you. So do you want to go ahead and just give us a quick run through of those announcements? Absolutely. So we uh, launched many features in the Power Platform Community Conference last month. I did a session on Copilot Studio security and governance where we categorized the features into uh, data protection, mm. uh, governance with scale and innovation, and visibility for admins. It was a great session, by the Thank way. Thank you. So under data protection, we have features like more DLP controls for um, governance uh, with Gen AI features. We, we launched an advisor recommendation. Mm. Um, we have data masking support now in Copilot Studio. Um, and since security is not just admin's responsibility, we shift left and launch a feature that does auto security check for makers and give them security warnings when they try to publish that copilot. Now in the second category under governance with scale and innovation, we launch support for environment routing. Mm -hmm. Basically makers can create agents in a secure personal developer environment. Mm -hmm. We uh, launch support for uh, welcome messages uh, for admins to sort of uh, let their makers know about compliance and uh, privacy um, details. Uh, so helpful for yep. users, yeah. And then we launch things like uh, sharing limits. And then finally, we um, uh, end up launching embedded uh, solution explorer okay. in Copilot Studio so that you can uh, meet all your ALM requirements in the Copilot Studio. You don't have to go outside. Awesome. And the final category was mostly on the visibility for admins. So we have audit so logs in the important. Microsoft uh, purview. You are now able to detect and alert uh, mm. security events um, for uh, agents uh, using Microsoft Sentinel. So that. all these features, like these are all a lot of security and governance features we launched and our admins love it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Super important. And so with all these features available to our customers, are there any best practices you would recommend for both admins or makers? Yes. So uh, recently we launched um, a playbook which include best practices. So I would highly recommend that uh, you go look at that. Okay, awesome. Yeah. And we'll be sure and link to that playbook for you all. So what would you say to customers who are worried about security of their data, especially when leveraging the generative AI features within Copilot Studio? Yeah, so this is a very important question. So Copilot Studio cover full life cycle of agent building today. Uh, you can create a Copilot, you can publish it. Um, it is, you can simply have a conversation mm -hmm. with an agent to create agents, right? So uh, it is that easy. Now with this Great power comes great responsibility. Absolutely. Uh, maker and admin, uh, they have responsibility to protect the co-pilot agent data. Now, uh, we build many security features that can uh, be used to govern co-pilot uh, studio generative AI features. Um, I would highly recommend you to look at our documentation and the playbook. Okay, great. And Naganta, we meet with customers all the time. Are you able to share a bit more about where you see these customers struggling mm -hmm. the most within the security and governance space and maybe some ways to overcome these Yeah, troubles? sure. So um, some customers I met are struggling to get Copilot Studio generative AI features approved by their mm -hmm. IT and their compliance team. And at the Power Platform uh, Community Conference last month, uh, customers are delighted to see what uh, we have delivered so far. Um, but they are uh, they they basically told me that they wished they would have known about all this governance control beforehand right so and furthermore we have planned um, to invest in making these security and governance uh, features more visible yeah. um, and and we, we plan to continue to augment our uh, copilot studio documentation so please um, uh, look at our documentation for yeah. latest update that's awesome yeah. we definitely heard that from customers at the power platform conference as well as you know, customers, when we meet with them, mm -hmm. getting these security reviews with their IT and legal departments is hugely important, right? And so that's why we are developing that playbook that Daganta mentioned, and that will be available to you all at Ignite, which we're super excited. All these assets in one place that you can go and, and take to your organization. Thank you, Daganta. That was super helpful. Yep. Where So we mentioned the playbook, you mentioned our documentation, 
where's the best place for customers to go and learn more about all of the security features within yep. Copilot Studio? So uh, the features I just talked about, we have documentation for all these features. And the best place to, for you to learn about these features is to go to aka.ms slash copilot studio security. Okay, aka.ms slash copilot studio security. Great. Well, unfortunately, I think we are out of time. Thank you so much again, Deganta, for joining Thank you, me. Thank you, Kendra. I loved it. Awesome. Hopefully, you learned a lot. And uh, you'll check out all those new features and more at Copilot Studio. OK, that was fascinating. I am not a security pro, but now you know I feel like we both should be. Absolutely. Right? Yep. Yeah. OK, so next month, we're both going to Chicago for Ignite. Super excited. Mm -hmm. Can't mm -hmm. wait. We're excited for it. And we're going to be highlighting all the announcements coming out of the event, as well as doing a deep dive into generative orchestrator capabilities. Yep. With Gary Pratt. Yep. So Gary is a PM on the Copilot Studio team mm -hmm. that has been driving in partnership with a number of our other engineering mm -hmm. and, and PM folks yeah. the generative orchestrator capability. And we've made a ton of improvements to the planner. And I'm super excited to do a deep dive with him. OK, just so you know, we're not leaving without homework today. I know we let you get away with the last time. Never again. <laughs> OK. I want everyone to go and try to build their own agent. Either you can do it in BizChat through M365 or you can build one in Copilot Studio. But build your own agent to do something. I actually built an agent to teach me responsible AI in I code. Love that. Because I know what responsible AI is and I know what code is, but how do you do responsible AI in code? Like yeah. what does transparency mean in Python? I don't know. But this agent actually really helped me figure it out. So that was my agent. I would love to hear what your agent is. So go build one, drop a comment in the chat, and let us know. Awesome. All awesome. right. See you uh, next month. See you next month.